that matters on the chessboard are good moves and the actions you take to achieve this result. What I do is bide in the shadows, where I can strategically exploit the most vulnerable pawns. But this time had to be different. This time, I had to involve my hand directly. But let's get things in the right order. So I began the first phase of my plan. Requesting the evacuation of all remaining personnel. Code Blue, repeat, this is a Code Blue emergency. Please respond, anyone, please. My name is Rebecca Jordan. I'm a doctor at the Aegis Medical Facility on the North Pole Islands. We have a problem of some magnitude here. There's a situation in the building that requires... There's been a terrible mishap. I, I think we've been exposed to some kind of gas, a corrosive agent that flashes out of the lungs, warping people outside. Can anyone hear me? out that fire back in room in 94. Thanks, Hayden. Er, understood, Major. Get it. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I should just let the past go. Romero Fort Gulf, this is HQ. We hold you on gadget and show you entering the airspace above the island. You should be within visual range of ages at any moment. Over. HQ, this is Sandman Actual. In descent for November Foxtrot, India. Standing by for a mission go. Sandman Angel, this is HQ. You are mission go. Authentication Echo Gulf 394 at time 0227 Zulu. Out. We are mission go. This is the second flash one. And the end of the line for you, lead. Green will infiltrate the laboratory via the third flash one. After that, Raven and I will hold position at the external loading bay and remain on alert 5 to pick you rubber suckers up upon completion. At which point, we'll recoup on platform two. Keep your comms clear as a precautionary measure. Over. Roger that. Comms clear. En route to primary objective. Over and out. HQ here. Unlock codes received. We are remotely overriding the service access to Aegis Station. As explained during the brief, the 
data interchange device is still being tested for field use. Nevertheless, it will become your most important resource, allowing you to manage weapons, consumables, consult maps, health state, and above all, allow you to interact with any type of electronic device. Over. Objective confirmed. Looks like the contagion leaked out from a couple tanks crammed into the area. There are also sure signs of a firefight and explosive residue. Proceeding with the mission. Over. It's about time you guys got here. You're with emergency response, right? That's right, Agent Liev. How's the leg? Oh, it hurts like hell. But I'll be all right. Can't move very far, though. That's unfortunate. Listen, I need to search this place for survivors. I'll come back for you as soon as survivors? I can. Survivors? Yeah, well, good luck with that. Anyway. I'll be waiting here. I just need to rest my eyes a little. to Mission Control Sandman. I made contact with an Aegis worker. I followed the protocol. I'm now heading to the control room to begin loading procedures. Over. Copy that. This all brings back memories from 94. Especially that day when you opened fire on all those poor, innocent people. Or what was left of them. Don't you remember? Orders are orders, Major. And those innocent people weren't exactly civilians. When you finally get your ass out of that chopper and onto the battlefield, we'll talk about it. Proceeding to objective, over. something down below. It looks like a huge submarine with markings that resemble biohazard symbols and could the flag really be Japanese? Focus on the mission, Agent. I don't care what titter-ridden cow curdles the milk those pasteurizing big shots call us in to mop up. Time is running out. Get your ass on the objective. Over. DF to mission control. Elvis has left the building. Understood. We'll take it from here, Agent. If the weather gets any worse, we might experience calm interference. Proceed to your next objective. Emergency channel open. Over.
UAV to mission control. PLX 731 sample secured. En route to second helipad for extraction. Do you copy? Good job, Agent. But I'm afraid I have some bad news. The objective of this operation has been updated. Agent Krychek and Wes have disappeared, and until they've been found, we can't allow you to leave the building. Your new objective is to complete the mission of the Epsilon team, and download all the research data on your DID. Please confirm status update. Over. New objective confirmed. On my way. Over. Sure. I'm just a war dog, after all. Sample somehow. Sandman, do you copy? I found West's body. Looks like he was shot to death. No sign of Crycheck yet. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, God damn this cock sucking storm! private office of the founder. From here I should be able to restore system passwords. Liev to mission control. If you can hear me, I've just restored the facility passcodes from the Matrix. I'm in the process of gathering the 731 samples and data off the server. Over. Retrieve the 731 samples. Now I'm heading over to the server room to gather the search data. Over. Understood. We're having trouble with the comm system. To make matters worse, this storm isn't getting any less wild, and the loads are being pushed to the limit. I don't think it'll hold for much longer. Your new rendezvous point is the main entrance, so head there. Hurry up and grab the data so we can get the hell out of here. Watch your back. Open comms for 2236. Over. Hey you, drop your gun and let me see your hands. Right now. Sorry. I thought you were one of those dead melted thingies that killed the others. Yeah, well, I ain't. And you almost got shot in the head, whoever you are. You know, I'm, I'm no threat to you. My name's John, it's John Fay. I work for Aegis in the information science department. Well, mostly in the server room. I've been hiding down there for hours, since all hell broke loose. All communications are down, and I didn't think anyone would risk their lives to actually save us. What the hell happened to this place? I'm not sure exactly, but I don't think it was accidental. How do you mean? Well, I can access anything via the server. The security system, surveyors, cameras, and naturally, the personnel files of all the Aegis employees. I've been trying to reconstruct exactly what went wrong. And actually, you'd be amazed at what somebody can achieve down here in just a few hours. Anyway, I think it's safe to say 
that one of our own stole some research and covered the whole up as an accident, obscuring all evidence of their damnable theft. Huh. You don't say. I'm gonna need that fancy ID card of yours to access the server. Well, why? Why do you want to access the server? I thought you were actually here to rescue us. Technically, those were your words, not mine. Sorry, bud. Orders are orders. But what, what about the others? All the survivors in the building? You're not gonna let us die here. Nah, you're right. I guess I can. I mean, especially you. Oh, what the heck. I'll lend a hand. Warning. Evacuation sequence activated. Back to base. My pawn moved admirably through the AG's lab. And with just a few bad moves, the game proceeded ahead. Unfortunately, I underestimated the fierce loyalties of those no good Exocor players. It was the most incredible fight I ever saw. We just grabbed the guy, bit his ear off, and spit it on the map. How often does that happen? During a boxing match? Never. HQ here. We read your signal on beacon. You're less than 30 minutes from base. Acknowledge. This is Sandman Actual. Roger your last HQ. Commencing final approach procedures to base. Any sign of the others? Over. Negative, Sandman Actual. Epsilon has gone out with their MIA. The special unit is being deployed to secure the site and evacuate survivors as soon as possible. Over and out. Maybe we should have waited after all. Not a chance. There's no way the carriers would have withstood that storm for a moment longer. Besides, I didn't come all this way to fail. <laughs> fail? Uh, right, right, right. You know, for a second there, I forgot how you do things, Major. You sit there. All ladylike to keep that immaculate uniform or spick and span while real soldiers go into battle. Ah, too bad it has to be at the expense of real men with bona fide families. <laughs> yeah. Fucking crimson skulls, man. You're all the fucking same. <laughs> I can see why you chose this boy to be your sidekick. You've both got a lot in common. For starters, just think about it. You're both cowardly little bitches that leave comrades to die. <laughs> what did you just say to me? You better watch your fucking mouth. Knock it off, you two. Epsilon or no Epsilon, our orders stand. He's right. You squawk way too much. Listen carefully, David. Because I won't repeat this again. I know what it's like to lose somebody and not be able to do a goddamn thing about it. 
But you can't go on blaming yourself. You made a judgment call on that plane. Otherwise, you'd both be dead. And I think he would have done the same in your position. Are we clear? If you say so, Major. It's just... Every time I close my eyes, I can still see him. He's burning up and screaming for me to somehow help him. And I can't. I know, but sometimes you just gotta move forward. Let go and focus on the present moment. You cut through that storm with your fangs out. You got golden hands, kid. I'm impressed. And now that your scars are more or less healed, I'm sure you'll go back to flying solo any day now. Fuck me! Hey, Major. You looking to lose the payload now that we're so close to base? God damn it. Raven, take the controls. I'm gonna go check and make sure supports are secure. That storm really pushed them to the limit. Yes, sir. Fuck's sakes, kid. Your file says you're the real deal. Took an SR-91 from the Aurora program to hypersonic Mach 6. That's a hell of a lot more than most pilots can say. By all rights, you should be able to fly this toy with your eyes closed. You know, I pushed for you to join the Skulls, even after what happened at Dryden. Only place I want to see you falling is on the map after our bouts. Okay, now focus and keep this bird up in the sky. You got it, Major. I won't let you down. This is Sam Walker. I'm out at the game tower at Hunter's Pass. Come in, over. Keenside Police, Kenneth speaking. Go ahead, Sam. Oh, hey, Ken. I don't want to rain on your parade, but some chopper nearly took my head off not five minutes ago. Do you know anything about that? Over. Right. Sorry, Sam. Those big shots called in last night to schedule transport passing through the area. Night exercise or something. In and out. Real hush-hush. You should be safe to go back up there. Just... I read you, Ken. Although next time, uh, you know, I'd be mighty grateful for any notice. Over and out. <sighs> hey, baby, it's me. Generator. Oh, yeah. I remember to turn off the lights in the house. Otherwise, you'll have to refuel again before daybreak. I know. Um, Sam, I'm not sure if I'll ever get used to living out in these woods. It's just so isolated. So, why'd you call, baby? Need help booking some rascally raccoons? <laughs> Funny. You know, maybe. I'm still on duty. Listen, I was just on the radio with Ken, so I thought I'd chicken in on you. And... I feel bad about not being able to take you to the Cherry Blossom Feast. I know how much it means to you. It's just... Well, you know how the night shift works. I know all too well. Ken, did something happen? No, no. no nothing to worry about. I just had a near miss in the tower involving some bozo in a helicopter. And... H hold on a second. Shit! I, I can't find my meds! Uh, I must have dropped him when that chopper went past. Uh, God only knows where they ended up. That's not good, Sam. You know you need those for... Don't... Don't start that again. I'm fine. I can manage it. I've been living with... with this for a long time now. Sam, you know what happened the last time you didn't take them. How could I forget? 
with you constantly reminding me. Listen, I, I, I gotta go, baby, okay? Don't worry about a thing. It's just a few more hours. Go to bed and get some rest. I'll be home in the morning. I love you. I, I can manage it. I can manage it. Just like last time. Uh, Major, uh, what's going on here? Uh, David, help me, please. Uh, Don't move, Leaf. Put the uh, weapon down. No fucking way. Talk to me, sir. Uh, what the hell is going on? Alex, he broke a vial in my face. Uh, Enough chatter. Uh, Step away from him uh, right now. God damn you, Lee! Well, well. <laughs> Who would have thought? Tonight's the night that you finally fail a mission. Lo and behold, the great Sandman <laughs> isn't as great after all, is he? <laughs> and who would have thought? Tonight's also the night when you die. You know, for what it's worth, I can honestly say, I had the real displeasure of serving under you, Major. Oh, and don't worry. I'll take care of these. Farewell. What? Son of a bitch! Oh, shit, didn't see that coming. Damn, the gas has already invaded the entire town. The mask will not hold up for long. I have to find a place to take refuge. HQ, HQ, Agent Liev here. <laughs> do you, do you receive me? Over. What the? How long was I out for? Oh, ah, uh, my head feels like it's gonna explode. Ah, uh, uh, why didn't the guy in rotation wake me? Ugh. <sighs> hey, Sam Walker here. I'm at the tower at the Hunter's Pass. Anybody out there? Over. Thing is, my replacement hasn't arrived yet. Anyone know what happened to Cooper? USFS Control. Anyone read me? Anybody? God damn it! Uh. Hey, baby, it's me again. Sam, finally! I've been trying to reach you! What's happened? <sighs> Sorry, uh, I must have passed out. Hell of a nightmare, too. Baby, I, I don't think I'm doing too well without my pills. It's only been a few hours, and I'm already starting to feel... Sam, just come home right away. What? Is something wrong? You might say that. We need to talk. Come home. Please. Talk about what? Sweetie? Damn! Damn. It's already been several hours since I took my pills. I hope I can handle it. Damn, what the hell is going to happen this time? It'll be better for me to go. Oh, 
Cooper. Damn you. I'm not going to cover you this time. Oh no, no, the hallucinations are already coming. There's no trace of Cooper's car. But where the hell is he? Now, what did I do with my car keys? Shit. I must have left them at the tower. It only took five minutes and one incompetent play to twist my perfect game into an imperfect mess. Even so, Kay would have been proud of the fate we thrust upon keen sight. But I still had work to do and players to silence. Now was my turn to make a move. Why the hell are the lights off? Aw, oh, come on. You didn't leave the generator on all night again? Receive me. Over. Delta 4RG0 pilots have betrayed the company. Attempt to steal samples recovered from Aegis during the flight. Following this conduct, I had to kill Major Sandman. While the second pilot Raven is to be considered my second. Agent Crane has been mortally crossed. You will not give me. I have the research data in the last remaining Pollock sample with me. Immediate extraction requested. Request accepted. Status mission updated. The order is to reach the rendezvous point at Sacred Heart Hospital. Scheduled extraction for 10.30 p.m. Zulu. Maximum priority for the delivery of research data. Secondary priority for the recovery of... Damn. You cut me out. 
It does not matter. I know where you're going, Agent. Stay right here. I'll come back for you, I promise. I just gotta find the fucker who did this to you. I'll find him myself. The Sacred Heart Hospital. He's going there. And then he'll be there. The bastard. He took my Jeep. Wait a minute. By passing with the funicular, I can still get to the city before him. Hey, you there! What? Is that you, Roland? Ain't you supposed to be crippled for life? What the? Why is everybody acting like that? Have they all lost their damn minds? I need to get back to the city to... Uh, uh. Oh no... Brad! What the hell is going on here? I find your sorry ass. You reap what you sow. And what happened next would jeopardize my plan. HQ, HQ, this is Liev. I've reached the extraction point. Standing by for evac. Over. We're reading you, Liev. An alpha team has been dispatched to your location. Hold position and get rid of any hostiles. There's no hostiles in the area. Over and out. Not so fast, Agent. You really think you can walk away from this? <laughs> Sandman. <laughs> Son of a bitch. How is this possible? Your guess is as good as mine. But aren't you the least bit curious of how your little stunt affected me? Oh, come on, Leaf. You still got one more round to show me something before you throw in the towel. <laughs> nah, I'm throwing it in. See, I've got a flight to catch. And to be honest, I don't give a fuck about boxing. <laughs> Ooh, 
<laughs> you throw your hands pretty fast, Major. I'll give you that. But tell me this. Can you throw your hands faster than a bullet? Hmm? No, no, no. How the mighty have fallen. Without the safety of your helo, your knee deep in shit, and your neck high in deeper shit. On a crash course to soiling those pretty hands of yours. Tell me this, does it ever cross your mind what you did to me at Groom Lake? No? Well, this time, you're stuck on my battlefield, bitch. And you'll be the one bleeding out, not me. Oh, I've been looking forward to this for so fucking long. Because when it's all said and done, you'll be remembered as a traitor. Who oh, is this squawk too much? What? You know, life is really just like boxing. You psych your opponent into thinking you'll do one thing, then you do another. You got only yourself to blame for this, Lee. After all, you're the one that made me this way. Oh, come on, Lee. Stop shaking. You look ridiculous. <laughs> Knockout. You know, I could have let you die back in 94. Yeah, letting you die would have saved us both a headache. The state of the board had gotten worse, and Sam Walker was officially the next mouth to stitch shut. Especially now that I had lost control of my pawn and the ability to recover our precious samples. that stay where you are don't move what the look for the intercom on your left my name's atherton dr atherton i'm the chief surgeon here at sacred heart my men and i have shot ourselves in the icu quite possibly the last safe refuge in this hospital maybe the whole town what how can that be what the fuck is going on here Listen, Doc. I'm looking for someone. A real nasty son of a bitch who got here shortly before I did. Oh, la la. You must be alluding to my latest patient. Latest patient? That's right. A real nasty son of a bitch, indeed. He was the one who crudely dissected those security guards you've undoubtedly stumbled across. But alas, I managed to sedate him and now he's tucked away. As snug as a bug in a rug. Under my complete control. Nobody will meddle in this hospital's affairs. Nobody but me. Um, Doc, open this goddamn door right now. That bastard's got an outstanding account with me, and I came to collect- No, 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 no I'm afraid not. You simply don't have the authority to make that decision. As you can see from what's left of my staff, I too have an account to settle with this man. Now you listen to me. I ain't gonna tell you again. Open the goddamn door! However, settling accounts seems to be your niche. So maybe we can reach some kind of understanding. What are you getting at? How should I explain it? Hmm. Yes. As a result of this precarious and unpredictable situation, some matters of the utmost importance remain pending. As you can glean from the carnage out there, I can no longer rely on security due to your friend's sudden appearance. So I need you to handle it instead. 
Man, you are one insane motherfucker. Insane or not, I have something you want. What you must do, sir, is go to the west wing of the hospital. Room 10, to be exact. Hmm. What should I do once I get there? Don't be so rash, Mr. Walker. Walker? Oh, how appropriate to the situation at hand. Getting there alive will be a big accomplishment in itself, Mr. Walker. Now you'd better skedaddle. I am not a particularly patient man and my offer may be prone to expire. You can contact me using the intercom when you... Uh, better yet, if you make it there. By the way, that technological marble that beautifully decorates your delicate wrist, the one you clearly stole, will be very useful. Very useful indeed. Feel free to buzz me on channel 27. I'll give you more details then. Godspeed. All right. I'll do it. Fucking fruitcake. Sam here. Can you hear me, Doc? I'm in room 10. Mr. Walker, what a pleasure to hear from you. Glad to know that you're still a fine specimen of good health. I can't imagine what you went through was easy. But the next step should be much easier. What am I supposed to do exactly? I don't see anything. Not to worry, Mr. Walker. You're in the right place. Although you can't see it, there's a special door in that room. Now approach the wall directly across from you with your DID. else has to happen? Hidden doors? Implants with damn chips? Mr. Walker, I want you to listen very carefully. There are many forces at play which, unlike myself, you just aren't privy to. All you must do is do exactly as you're told, no matter how unsettling nor utterly unpleasant it may seem. Now hurry up and bring me that chip. Over and out. What the hell is going on in this place? Secret control rooms? Continuous monitoring of the citizens of Keen Sight? How is it possible? Oh, satisfactory work, Mr. Walker. Well played. I wasn't quite sure you'd make it. Yeah, thanks for the vote of confidence. Now let me in. I ain't parading around your hospital risking my damn life chopping corpses for you. I see. But didn't you say you came here to collect something from my latest patient? Now that doesn't leave you much of a choice, does it? So let's cut the chatter and get back to the task at hand. First you do something for me, then I do something for you. Doc, I hope for your sake that son of a bitch is really in there. Cause if he ain't, and you're riding me like a donkey, I'm gonna tear you a new one. As tempting as that sounds, I'm afraid you'll just have to trust me, Mr. Walker. Let me assure you, however, that I am a man of my word. 
So what in the fuck should I do this time? I want you to take this key. You can use it to access the lower levels of the building. There you'll find a door that looks surprisingly similar to the one your device unlocked. By now you should have a clear idea how it works. Once inside, I'll explain the rest by radio. Have a nice walk, Mr. Walker. Doc, I'm here. It looks like an archive of some sort. Precisely, Mr. Walker. Keep the chatter to a minimum, though. This time you won't have to shred corpses. Just park your tush in that chair by the PC and initiate the archive self-destruction sequence. The process should be rather simplistic. That is all. I'm out here. Now let me in. Oh my, Mr. Walker, welcome back. You have indeed proven yourself reliable. I must admit, I couldn't have done it better myself. Listen, man, I almost died covering up the shit you people have got hidden in here. The shit you're a part of, Doc. I thought your job was to save lives, not destroy them. Do not presume to lecture me, Mr. Walker. I will not be scolded by the likes of you at a time like this. It boils down to business, money, and power. All of which the company has more of than you can begin to fathom. But I'm still useful to them. They'll come for me eventually. They'll come for me because I too am reliable. And that is exactly why you and I have one last task to complete. Ah, oh, fuck you, man! Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Well, <laughs> I can't get fooled again. I'm done! Just shut it and listen. An acquaintance of mine, Dr. Kimball, went missing and out of radio contact while carrying out an important job. He did, however, re-establish the signal just a few minutes ago. From what little I gathered, we've only got a few minutes to save his life. And who better than reliable you to rush to his aid, hmm? Complete this one final task for me. And I will gladly throw open this door and invite you to inside. Let me reassure you, Mr. Walker, that I am a man of my oh, word. fucking hell. All right. But that's it. If you don't open the door next time, I'm gonna find a way in there, and you ain't gonna like it. That won't be necessary, Mr. Walker. Dr. Kimball seems to have locked himself in the east wing of the facility. But I'm not sure how long he'll be safe there. So please. Rescue him as quickly as possible. Good luck. Doc, it's me. Sorry, but your colleague didn't make it. I found him, but was too late to- Mr. Walker, don't dwell on useless chatter. Just check the status of the computer equipment in the room. Did Dr. Kimball complete his work? The screen for the terminal display- What? Listen, Doc. 
I am done playing your fucking dirty little games. All I've been doing this whole time is implicating myself in whatever the hell crimes you've committed here by erasing evidence. I do not take kindly to being blackmailed by weirdo fucks in puffy white coats, and I ain't your damn puppet! My role as your accomplice in this fucked up horror tale ends now. I'm heading your way, Doc. And when I get there, you'll do well to give me exactly what I risk my ass for in this godforsaken labyrinth. Dr. Atherton, what's wrong? Answer me! Fuck, fuck, fuck! this? Sam. Is it you, Sam? It's me. It's me, Sam. Please, come and help me. Hurry. Don't fail me again. Don't fail. Don't leave me behind. Please, don't. No. This can't be happening. Not again. Over. Code 11. I say again, Code 11. This is an emergency. Shit, the radio's out. With one disastrous move away from oh, checkmate, damn that leaf. an unexpected That's hand reached out. Thinking. A forgotten player would make their triumphant return to the game. I just hope the Major's still alive. We should find a way to contact him. Hello? Is anybody here? I'm a Hexacore pilot. I was in a crash. Anybody? Hello? Something like this. Not even my wildest nightmares. Tonight was supposed to be. 
be a night for celebration with the family. Instead, I found something killing family one by one. It all happened so damn fast. I've been trying to reach my supervisor at the dam, but this is probably the death. Along with the rest of them, I sincerely hope they're all dead. Now that I'm alone, I've been able to perform a simple task like riding. I can only curse those fucking assholes of the company. I regret having lied to so many people about what they actually did to them. And because I still got one shot, I'm doing so good. I like to think it's not my mere chance yet. God, I hope this hasn't afflicted the entire town. are you supposed to be? Major, Major, do you read me? Can you hear me? Major! Damn it. Is this thing even working? Come on. Sandman, you there? Do you read me? Raven, you're alive. I just figured you'd be dead after what happened aboard the chopper. I should say the same for you. When I found Crane's body in the wreckage, I... Oh, I thought for sure. Yes, sir. Near the crash site. I gathered as many samples as I could to use against Lee when this gets back to command. Major, 
Make damn sure those samples are still intact. It'll lead my arrival. Shouldn't take too long to wrap this up. And whatever you do, do not trust anyone you do not know. I'm afraid that Lee isn't the only backstabbing son of a bitch who work here. I'll see you at the dam. Understood. But hang on a second, Major. We can't just waltz through the front door. It's totally fucked. And even if we got through, those freaks are still parading around inside. I did find another chopper we could use. I think we should just rendezvous on the rooftop and get the hell out of here before it's too late. Roger, kid. We'll rendezvous at the copter pad then. I'm on my way. Don't be late. We're gonna get through this together. Over and out. I'll see you at the dam. Understood. But hang on a second, Major. We can't just waltz through the front door. It's totally fucked. And even if we got through, those freaks are still parading around inside. I did find another chopper we could use. I think we should just rendezvous on the rooftop and get the hell out of here before it's too late. Roger, kid. We'll rendezvous at the copter pad then. I'm on my way. Don't be late. I gotta get through this together. Over now. Major, I'm on the roof of the dam. The Citadel's been overrun. I repeat, the Citadel's been overrun. The whole situation's foobar. No survivors. Hold on. No. Raven! Respond, goddammit! Shit. I'm running out of time. So, you made it this far. I'm coming for you, fucker. We'll meet real soon, you and I. Doc, you said a few minutes! I thought you were going to die in there. Thanks for your help, Mr... Mason. Dr. Mason. I work, or rather, I used to work in the treatment room. What was that thing? One of your lab rats gone wild? Well, you should know, of course. That thing is, or better yet, was one of yours. One of mine? What the hell is that supposed to mean? The CSR 03s your unit was transporting last night spread to the city, wiping out the entire population of Keemsight. Each afflicted subject reacted differently to the effects of the toxin. As a matter of fact, the leak was so prolific that it even reached the dam, trapping many of Hexacore's own and transforming them into ungodly monsters. Prior to infection, the members of Haiti stationed there were administered an experimental additive that increases both physical and mental capabilities. 
but as a side effect, it seems to have generated some rather unusual varieties of form when combined with the toxin. Cut the bullshit. I put down some of those Haiti things already, and they're completely different from what you don't get it. Not long ago, an Alpha team was called out to extract a survivor from your team. Meaning what exactly? By the time Alpha team arrived, something had literally torn the survivor to shreds. But he wasn't quite dead. The bioscanners indicated the formation of some genetic mutation, an anomaly. That's why the Big Shots ordered them to recover the specimen for analysts back at HQ. But what they found was something nobody expected. Both Castor and Pollux flourishing in harmony. The two viral agents had twisted together in some ungodly perversion that gave birth to something new. Wait, are you saying that that thing out there is leave? Oh my god, where did it go? How the hell did it get loose? I know it! Shit! You can't stay here. Come on, Doctor. But there's no stopping it. Don't you understand? Get the hell out of here, boy! But you don't have to. Listen, I'll buy you enough time to get to the helipad. Then I'm gonna bomb this damn place. It's just down there. Now go! But... There isn't any other way! Go on! Get out of here! There's no time left. I have to reach the helipad immediately. Major, I'm on the roof of the dam. The Citadel's been overrun. I repeat, the Citadel's been overrun. The whole situation's foobar. No survivors. Hold on. No. There's no way. Leave. Leave it. Stop until the end. in a fucking coma. Major! Major! That's hard to believe. I didn't think Leave could get any nastier than he already was. Come on. We need to get out of here. The dam's gonna blow. Right. We better hurry. Hit it! Raven! Go get out of here! Uh, uh, no. I won't leave another man behind. Not like this. Motherfucker! Not today, kid. Not today. You've already risked your life far too many times. This time, only one of us is walking away from here alive. The truth is undeniable. Fortune favors the bold. I accomplished my mission at the first light of dawn, and for once in my existence, the best plan was to not have a plan. Uh, when, uh, Aiden, how in the hell did you? Sorry to disappoint you, kid. I guess the great Sandman ain't so great after all. But after all of the lies lost, at least I managed to save one. What's going on? By all rights, you should be dead. And you're not. Wait. What? Always did that to you. That fucking guy! Ugh! Ugh! Uh, uh, don't touch me! Stay away! 
Leave. He turned me into this freak. The Underthode! I need it now! This? Give it to me now! Are you all right? Did it work? You bastard! Do you remember me? You... You mass-murdering piece of shit! I will never forgive you for taking her away from me! What? What the hell are you? Drop your gun right now! You fucker! You killed her! Why? What did my baby ever do to you? Hey, whoa, whoa, calm down. Too many people have died already. Why don't you drop the weapon so we can talk about it? Whatever happened, it's over. It's over. No! It's not over! Not by a long shot. Not until this... this guy pays for what he did to her! Listen, listen. I don't know you, sir. But you can trust me when I say the man who did all this is dead. The Major's a hero. He risked his life. He risked his life? Huh? For what? To murder tens of people? Including my wife? Huh? I was there, soldier boy. I saw what he did to her. My baby. Now, I suggest you get the fuck out of my way, or you can go to hell with them! I'm not gonna tell you again, sir. Drop your weapon, or I'm gonna shoot you where you stand. No matter what you think you saw. Stand down, Raven. Go stand down. It's you, isn't it? Samuel. How do you know my name? Because I know more than what you think. But the only thing you really need to know is that I'm truly sorry. I never meant to hurt her. Not intentionally. Your wife, she was one of the few people I could really count on to. What's that supposed to mean, huh? Huh? Who, who are you people? He's the one who ripped my arm off and broke my neck, baby. While you just stood by and watched me die. No, that's not what happened. That's not how... That's not... She's dead! Sam, baby. Are we really gonna argue over semantics? <laughs> Just look at yourself. You're nothing but a frightened lab rat. Shut up! That's all you want! Shut That's up, all you ever want! Shut the fuck up! Just shut your mouth! Sam, who I? Stop! Just don't say another goddamn word! These people know everything about you. Fight it, they Samuel! They used you for their advantage. No! They this isn't them. real! You She's dead! Company property! Don't listen to her, Samuel! the moment you were born! Damn it! The voice isn't Sarah! up the register. Ready to receive. Mission report K731. Personal code FG9565061. Mission status completed. The material requested has been recovered. Of those involved, there's no one left. At least no one who knows what's really going on. I erased all traces of K's involvement. Hexacore Biogenetics will be blamed and held accountable for the mishap in keen sight. Good job, sir. Following materials archive. Evidence number one, HAF4RG0 Delta surveillance footage. Evidence 
Sands number two intercepted voice messages of Major Sandman Bogan. Voice message with encryption code XDR00035. Sarah, I would have liked to speak with you in person, but I'm afraid that's just not gonna happen. So this is it. The moment has arrived. You know, I told you that I'd do whatever it takes to protect her, and now I gotta prove just that. Prove it to myself, to you, but mostly prove it to her, my precious little angel, Samantha. In exactly seven days, my man and I will be deployed to the Aegis Labs to recover samples of Castor and Pollux. After which, you know what I have to do. Oh, I know what you're thinking right now. I know. So many innocent lives lost to save just one. But she's my baby girl. So listen up. I want you to leave Keen Sight, you and your Samuel, and get as far away from the city as possible. The gears of destruction are already in motion, and nobody can stop them now. And even if they could, I wouldn't let them. So, if one day my conscience does feel a little less guilty, it'll only be because I've not only saved my daughter's life, but yours as well. I know you know what it means to truly love someone with every fiber of your being. And the choices you gotta make to hold on to that love, to be with that person and share one last day, one last minute, one last tantalizing second. I couldn't live with myself knowing that I didn't step up and do something, even if it means burning in hell for eternity. That should come easy compared to a living hell without her. Hope one day you can forgive me. But if you can't, saving Samantha will be enough. Evidence number three, Sarah Carmichael's recording to Sam Walker. Sam, sweetheart. I've been waiting for this day to come, wishing I didn't have to tell you the things you're about to hear. Yet, here goes nothing. The more elaborate the lie, especially one as grandiose and brazen as this, the more difficult it becomes to explain. I should have waited for you to come home, to speak with you in person, but I just can't do anything but record this. You won't be home before dark, by which time it'll probably be too late. There's a good chance they'll come here looking for me. <laughs> they. I guess you're wondering who I'm talking about. What I'm about to say will change your life forever. Change my life, too. What's happening, one way or another, was inevitable. But... At the cost of many thousands of lives, it will also mean the end of our relationship. Listen to me. By now, all of Keen's sight is lost. He... He did it. He infected the whole goddamn town, sentencing the people here to a fate worse than death. He committed a truly unforgivable sin. The last hope for a crazy man being puppeted by even crazier people. The Kuronosu Company. I still don't understand how he could have done it. How anyone could have done it. Even him. Especially him. God damn you, Kuronosu. Hexacore. Damn you both to hell. Oh, Christ. We're just a bunch of filthy murderers. All of us. What I wanted to say, if I wasn't a coward, is that even though I've always loved you, I've never been completely honest with you. Beneath this city, 
behind your disease lies a tangled web of secrets linked to the company. I would have told you sooner rather than being obliged by this tragedy, but I couldn't and wasn't ready yet. I was afraid of how it might affect us. Sorry. 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 It kills me to tell you this, but I'm not who you think I am. You already know that I work for Hexacore, but what you don't know is that my job isn't limited to mere administration. My field of expertise is actually the supervision of research studies, monitoring one of our most important tests, you. For decades now, our government has been experimenting in its own backyard, testing chemical weapons on an unsuspecting America. The project is called Truman, and Keensight is one of the most illustrious testing zones, with Hexacore overseeing the whole shebang since the 40s. You, and hundreds of others like you, are the end result of these tests, and we've been tasked with keeping you in check and gleaning as much data as possible about your condition. I can attest, however, that it took very little effort for you to become the most important part for me because... because I actually fell in love with you and it wasn't just a job for me anymore. So when someone asks if I love my work, I tell them yes. Thanks to you, I do. And maybe that's why I've never had the courage to tell you before. And more importantly, I would never leave this place without you of my own free will, if given the choice. Hold on. I hear something. There... There's somebody out there. Evidence number four. ID tags of Sarah Carmichael, Hexacore Biogenetics Supervisor, Code 27.